All right, welcome into another lesson here. Um, we're going to be going over the other part of the rubric, and I want you to take another look at the rubric because I did make some changes on it. Um, so most everything we did yesterday is the same, just um, things that we're going to do on this lesson. Um, made some changes from when you may have saw it in the last video. So just make sure you take a quick look at it and um, I'll go over it in this video. So uh, we left off right here yesterday, speed and duration of a clip, and we're going to go over audio transitions and then music narration, narration dialogue, and then comprehensive editing, which is your genre, comedy or tragedy script which is in your Google Doc. Uh, I'll go over this in a minute, but most of this should already be done. Okay, let's hop into our Premiere file real quick and take care of the last thing from audio from uh, editing elements, which is audio transitions right there, and then we'll take care of audio elements. So if you look in my file here, you'll see that um, I do have some audio transitions in here, some crossfades and uh, things like that. I'll let you see what it sounds like with and without it here. So this is with it. kind of smooth and everything like that. This is without any of the audio transitions. So basically, you know, it just um, cuts off and is a stark transition rather than it being a smooth transition. So at the least, I do want you to go ahead and put some uh, crossfades on the beginning of it if you only have like one background or whatever every time your clip ends on your audio you need to be having a crossfade out so if you go to audio transitions this is in the audio effects uh, bin right here uh, constant power is a good place to start we'll just take it and drag it over <clears throat> to the beginning right there and it'll now uh, have a more smooth transition in like that and then instead of having a stark contrast right here we're going to go ahead and do a audio crossfade right there and much more smooth so every time you clip ends um, i want you to put a crossfade um, or fade out or fade in at some point, unless it needs to be a like stark um, thing. Like right here, I have a crossfade out of this one, but I wanted it to start really abruptly on this clip, so this is what it sounds like. Because it's real percussive and everything like that, I didn't put a crossfade in, I just <clears throat> had it. Uh, start automatically like that. So that's fine, but everywhere else um, you're going to want to put a crossfade in there. So that is the audio transitions. Uh, music, you heard music in mind. This is talking about the background music, so it needs to be appropriate. It needs to be an appropriate level. So I started out with background music. A lot of you started out with dialogue. I redid it. Um, when they both meet up, they need to be appropriate level. So um 
This isn't my music. So I used three different songs and um, got it from a library uh, and it already sounds really good. So there's no need to um, kind of affect it anymore for this. We're just going to make sure the level is appropriate when we put our uh, dialogue in there. So right now I've got the dialogue muted. I did not actually record dialogue from this. I took this from one of our students' projects, and I'm just going to edit it and overlay it with my background music to give you an example for it. Uh, so here it is by itself, soloed right here, solo button, you can listen to it. Godzilla, is it true you dated a ferret? Yeah, about two years ago. Was she ugly? You do not ever say that about her. She was beautiful and I will beat you up. Yep. Okay, um, so it's a very interesting uh, subject right there. Um, so you can see on the waveforms here, this is kind of very inconsistent. And most dialogue is going to be. Uh, most dialogue is going to need what is called uh, compression. Uh, so we will put that. If you go over to the essential sound um, and let's see, you might have to have the clip selected. Yes. Um, you want. To go ahead and expand this out a little bit. Let's see here, dynamics uh, changes the impact of a recording by compressing or expanding the dynamic range of a recording. So um, you want to have that dynamics button pressed. And we are going to focus it in because natural did not sound good. So we're going to compress it by focusing it in. Um, and we have a male voice, enhance the speech. Um, we're doing for loudness, repair, clarity. Um, it's going to just make our dialogue uh, better. So right now, uh, this is compressing it a bit. Um, and it is a background voice, so that's kind of the EQ that we want. It's going to, if you select the EQ, it's going to uh, just curve it out a little bit. And let's see what that sounds like. We might not have to put another compressor on it. Um, we'll just, we'll see here. So you can see what this sounds like here. <laughs> Godzilla, is it true you dated a ferret? Yeah, about two years ago. Was she ugly? You do not ever say that about her. She so that's a lot better. Um, maybe we'll take the focus down just a little bit. It did seem pretty compressed. Godzilla, is it true you dated a ferret? Yeah, about two years ago. Was she ugly? You do not ever say that about her. She was beautiful and I will beat you up. Did y'all ever kiss? We tried to, but I bit her face off. Okay. Anyways, um, so that is probably a good level for that. Um, we'll get into more expansive um, editing for audio later, but just for a quick dialogue, that's fine. And then we just want to make sure that that is a good level with our background music. So we are going to have the background music playing and everything going, and then we're going to bring up background to the appropriate level. Godzilla, is it true you dated a ferret? Yeah, about two years ago. Was she ugly? You do not ever say that about her. She was beautiful and I will beat you up. Did y'all ever kiss? All right, so that is about an appropriate level for me. You want to clearly hear um, the dialogue and not uh, have the background music take away from it. 